Check terrorism kinases play essential and non-redundant functions in cytokine signaling. Family comprises of four members, JAK1, 2, 3 and TIC2, which associate selectively with cytokine receptors and are activated upon cytokine binding to the receptors. Uh, deregulation of, of JAK kinases is, is uh, increasingly been shown to be involved in different hematological as well as immunological diseases, leukemia and cancer and subsequently JAK kinases have become a major target for drug development. The first two inhibitors were approved last year, bruxolitinib for myelofibrosis and tofacitinib for, for rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, notably, all these, uh, these drugs as well as the, the uh, 11 other molecules target the tyrosine kinase JH1 domain. Uh, the domain structure in JAK kinases is very well conserved and, and they have a typical tandem uh, uh, kinase, uh, typical C-terminal kinase domain consisting of a typical tyrosine kinase, also called JH1 standing for JAK homology 1, and adjacent to that the pseudokinase domain or JH2. Uh, pseudokinase domain, the function of that has been uh, pretty much unknown, though it's been shown to be involved in regulation of, of the JAK kinases. So as said, uh, JH2 is considered to be a pseudokinase. Interestingly, almost 10% 10, 10 of kinases lack essential residues for catalysis and are predicted to be pseudokinases. And the classification of, of this family of proteins is based on, on the defective catalytic motive. As is shown here in, in the slide, the, the most predominant uh, defect in, in the JAK, uh, JH2 domain is a lack of so-called uh, aspartate catalytic base in the HRD motive, but also one can see that, that, that for example, the nucleotide binding, so-called glycine-rich motive, is somewhat distorted. This is the recent studies on pseudokinases have clearly shown that, that uh, there's a significant variation both in the structures and functional characteristics of these, uh, these uh, proteins. The JAK2, JH2 domain is of, of major interest in, for several reasons and one, one of the most important one came out in 2005 when four labs independently identified a single somatic mutation in the JH2 domain, phalene 617 to phenylalanine, which is a cause for the most uh, common myeloproliferative neoplasmas, namely Polycythema vera, standing for PV, essential thrombocytemia ET, and myelofibrosis MF. Subsequent studies have, have shown that, that indeed the JH2 domain is a mutational hotspot in several hematological as well as immunological diseases. However, despite this significant interest towards this domain, the mechanism of JH2 function in normal and pathogenic signaling has been elusive. The major Achilles heel in analyzing JAK kinases has been the, the problem of producing functional and, and isolated protein domains. After uh, significant efforts, we have finally succeeded in, in this task and uh, subsequently been able to produce the JAK2 pseudokinase domain and uh, assess its uh, functions. As shown here in the figure, in the in vitro kinase assay, the JH2 domain is able to autophosphorylate However, it should be noted that its activity is significantly less active than the typical tyrosine kinase domain. The analysis of the autophosphorylation sites identified two sites, serine 523 and tyrosine 570. Also, the JH2 domain was found to bind the ATP in a physiological uh, KD approximately 1 micromolar. After identification of the catalytic activity of JH2, it was of, of interest to study its uh, functional uh, properties in, in, in cell system, and the, the subsequent studies were done in JAK2 deficient gamma 2A cells. And uh, catalytic uh, inactivation was, was performed by mutating the so called ATP coordinated glycine 581 to alanine. And as shown on figure A, inactivation of the JH2 activity uh, abrogates the, both the tyrosine 570 and serine 523 phosphorylation and subsequently increases the basal activity of JAK2. Uh, earlier studies had identified both serine 523 and tyrosine 570 as negative regulators of JAK2 activity, thus it is consistent with the, with the negative regulatory function of the JH2 domain. 
Steve Hubbard's laboratory at NYU was able to determine the X-ray crystal structure for the Jack 2 J2 domain. The, the structure shows prototypical kinase fold, but also several interesting features. The magnesium, the cation ATP binding uh, mechanism is, is uh, different from, from typical or prototypical uh, kinases, and the ATP is coordinated by, by two threonine residues in the so-called glycine-rich region, as well as uh, asparagine in the catalytic loop is uh, coordinating a single magnesium. Importantly, the gamma phosphate of ATP was positioned in a phosphor root transfer. Uh, in addition, the, the crystal structure for the MPN uh, mutation valine 617 to phenylalanine was determined, and it, it was overall showed highly similar structure, but, uh, but some distinct features were noted. The most important one uh, was in, in the alpha C helix, where the phenylalanine was uh, making P stacking interactions with two phenylalanines in the C helix and thereby rigidifying this motif. As a conclusion, what our uh, studies have shown that the GH2 is a catalytically active protein kinase and it phosphorylates two regula regulatory sites in JAK2, serine 523 and tyrosine 570, and thereby controls basal activity of JAK2. It should be noted that this catalytic uh, uh, function, as, uh, and particularly the phosphorylation of these two residues, is a unique feature for JAK2, and most likely is dependent on its specific function on homotypic uh, uh, cytokine receptors. In addition, the JH2 domain well, the crystal structure of the JH2 domain was determined and shown to adapt a prototypical kinase fold, but shown to bind ATP magnesium by a non-canonical non mode. Importantly, the crystal structure of, of the NPN disease mutation, valine 617 phenylalanine, showed that, that the, the major structural consequence of, of this mutation is rigidifying the alpha C helix in the uh, in the JH2 domain. And uh, as a summary, several names have, have been used for the, for the JH2 domain, pseudokinase, kinase-like domain, abbreviation as KLD, but maybe we could also call this as a kinase-like domain. Thank you.